Hello, myself is Mr. Gupta, lecturer of Organic Chemistry. Today I am going to give you the solution of ITZ 2012, paper 1st, code 6 and paper 2nd, code 5. In paper 1st, the first organic question is, question number 22, the number of aldol reaction or reactions that occur in the given transformation is. Here they ask, when acetaldehyde reacts with 4 molecules of formaldehyde in presence of concentrated aqueous sulfur, sodium hydroxide, it will give this compound. And their options are A1, B2, C3 and D4. Answer for this is C. When you carefully analyze the reaction, OS negative, which is a base, abstract alpha hydrogen. This carbon is called as 0, this carbon is alpha. Base abstract alpha hydrogen to form carbon ion, which is resonance stabilized, to form enolate ion. This enolate attack over formaldehyde to give beta alkoxy aldehyde. This is 0, alpha, and beta. Clear? Which later abstract proton to give beta hydroxy aldehyde. 0, alpha, and beta. So, this is first aldol. Aldol means when any aldehyde which have alpha hydrogen on treatment with any base it will give beta hydroxy aldehyde so this is the first aldol reaction again base abstract alpha hydrogen to form carbon ion which again resonance stabilized and then attack another formaldehyde molecules to give second aldol product again base abstract alpha hydrogen to form carbon ion which again attack over formaldehyde to form this final aldol product. Now, this particular compound do not have alpha hydrogen, so base will not abstract proton. Instead, it acts as a nucleophile and attack over this carbonyl carbon. That's the pi bond. And now, Canizaro reaction will take place. As the amount of formaldehyde is large, so oxidation occur for formaldehyde while the reduction over, over, occur over this aldehyde molecule to give overall this transformation product. Second question is the carboxyl group COOH present in which molecule? First, picric acid, second, barbituric acid, third, ascorbic acid, and fourth is the aspirin. When we carefully analyze the structure of these four molecules, this is picric acid, that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 2, 4, 6, trinitrophenol. This is picric acid. It does not, it does not have COOH group. This is barbituric acid. This is ascorbic acid. These three forms do not have COOH group. Instead, aspirin, which have COOH group. So, aspirin is the correct answer. Third question is, the number of optically active products obtained from the complete ozonolysis of the given compound is. Compound is this one. When we carefully analyze the ozonolysis reaction, in ozonolysis reaction, all the multiple bonds are broken and corresponding aldehydes or ketones are formed. Here, this bond is broken, this pi bond is broken, and this pi bond is broken. Corresponding, these aldehydes are obtained. These all do not have any chiral center. so none of the compound is optically active in nature. Next SCP question is, in allene C3S4, the type of hybridization of the carbon atom is. To find the hybridization of any atom, only count the number of sigma bond and lone pair of electrons. If the sum is 2, then hybridization of atom is sp. If sum is 3, hybridization is sp2. And if sum is 4, then hybridization is sp3. For this carbon, it has 1 sigma, 2 sigma and 3 sigma. So, hybridation is sp2. This particular has 1 sigma and 2nd sigma. Hybridation is sp and this particular has 1, 2 and 3 sigma. So, hybridation is sp2. To count the hybridization of any atom, there is no role of pi bond. Now, question is MCQ. Question number 31. Which of the following molecule in pure form is or are stable at room temperature? These are the four molecules given. When we carefully analyze first molecule, this molecule is resonance stabilized. 
so it is stable at room temperature but second molecule is anti aromatic and dimerizes or trimerizes soon at the room temperature third molecule molecule is unstable at room temperature and can only be isolated in argon matrix below 38 kelvin above which it is dimerized so it is also unstable at room temperature but the last molecule which is also called as tropone is stable at room temperature as it displays electron density of co towards oxygen making ring aromatic when we disperse this pi bond and shifted electron density towards oxygen then positive charge is created over this carbon and due to positive charge this ring become aromatic but in this case when we disperse this sigma ele pi electrons towards oxygen positive charge will be created over this position and ring will be anti aromatic so molecule is not stable in this case but molecule is stable in this case in question th 35 identify the binary mixture that can be separated into individual compounds by differential extraction as shown in the given scheme in this question they are given two compounds compound first and second which are treated with NaOH and sodium bicarbonate separately and isolation occur when we carefully analyze carboxylic acid forms salt with sodium hydroxide as well as sodium bicarbonate because carboxylic is a strong acid and it can form salt with any base whether it is whether it is strong or it is weak but phenol is weak acid so it only forms salt with NaOH but it do not form salt with sodium bicarbonate while alcohol is more weaker and it does not form salt with any base either NaOH or sodium bicarbonate so separation can be done with the help of NaOH and sodium bicarbonate in case of carboxylic acid and phenols so answer will be b and d now integer type question when the following aldohexose exist in its d configuration the total number of stereo isomers in its pyranose form is first what is pyranose pyranose form is the six member cyclic structure which can be formed by attack of second oh group over the cho group this is first second third fourth fifth and sixth and this oh group attack over this aldehyde carbon it will form six member ring and that six member ring is called as pyranose form clear this is the structure of pyranose form in d form this particular oh group must be written in the right hand side so that's why it is called as d configuration so in this case stereochemistry is only observed over position first position third and position four and as molecule has three stereo center so total number of isomer will be 2 to the power 3 and that is 8 now last question of paper first the substituted r1 and r2 for nine peptides are listed in the table given below how many of these peptides are positively charged at ph 7 in this case r will be h r2 may also be h and these are the value for this r1 and r2 if we place h and h over r and r then molecule will not be basic because this positive part and this negative part neutralizes similar is the case in second and third but in case of fourth when we replace with ch2 cu ns2 and r2 with ch2 four times ns2 due to this ns2 group it exceed the positive charge that is one plus one two and here only one so molecule will be positively charged overall molecule will be positively charged these are the case observed in fourth sixth eighth and ninth where molecules are positively charged so answer will be four in paper two question number 22 the compound undergo decarboxylation most readily under mild condition is the basic concept behind the decarboxylation is the stability of carbon ion over the alpha position that is rate of decarboxylation depends on the stability of carbon ion formed at the alpha position after loss of carbon dioxide greater is the stability of carbon ion faster will be the rate of decarboxylation when we lose this carbon dioxide negative charge will be over this position will which will not be in resonance with coh group 
this is the similar case here also the similar case but in case of b when carbon dioxide is lost from this molecule negative charge will be formed over this position and due to resonance due to minus m nature of co this negative charge is stable so decarboxylation will easily occur in b the laser product h of the given reaction sequence is this is the question answer will be b in this case cn negative will attack over the carbonyl carbon here nucleophilic addition reaction take place to give this compound which abstract proton from sulfuric acid to form cyanohydrin which loses water molecule dehydrate sulfuric acid will act as a dehydrating agent loses water molecule to give this product there are two possibility hydrogen may be abstracted from this position may be abstracted from this position but if will if we will abstract hydrogen from this position and pi bond is formed over here then stability of product will be more so hydrogen will be abstracted from this position to give final h product dehydration of cyanohydrin leads to more substituted alkene as the major product following more sadzef rule without hydrolysis of cn this is the question 29 and 30 paragraph type in the following reaction sequence the compound z is an intermediate this is the question i when treated with acetic anhydride in presence of sodium salt of that acid form j which after reduction followed by the reaction with SOCl2 and then anhydrous AlCl3 form K. They also give a help for the question that is Z with molecular formula this one give effervescence that is Z will be acid on treatment with sodium bicarbonate and a positive base test that is Z will also have carbon carbon double or triple bond. Question is very simple this is Perkins reaction when any aromatic aldehyde on treatment with anhydride having alpha hydrogen in presence of sodium or potassium salt of that acid which form anhydride it will give alpha beta 0 alpha and beta alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid so this is the simple name reaction Perkins so Z will be this one in presence of hydrogen platinum carbon this pi bond carbon carbon double bond is reduced to single bond in presence of SOCl2 OH group is replaced with Cl and now in presence of AlCl3 and hydrous AlCl3 intermolecular friedel craft acylation will take place Cl goes out Co plus will be formed and this pi bond attack over this carbon loses hydrogen to form overall cyclic compound so reaction is friedel craft acylation in 35 question with the reference to the scheme given which of the following statement or statements about t u v and w is or are correct this is the question this molecule is t on reaction with lithium aluminum hydride give u which in presence of excess of acetic anhydride give w and in presence of chromic oxide in acidic medium give v and question is if t is soluble in hot aqueous NaOH use optically active molecular formula of W is this one or V will give a permissions on treatment with aqueous NaOH when we carefully analyze the reaction this is T which on treatment with lithium aluminum hydride breaks this ester bond CO bond to form corresponding alcohol which on treatment with acetic anhydride reacts to give ester and in presence of this oxidizing agent this primary alcohol is converted converted into acid first question is T is soluble in hot aqueous NaOH as this compound is ester which on hydrolysis with hot aqueous chemophobe hot, chem, hot aqueous NaOH forms salt of carboxylic acid and alcohol which is soluble U is optically active for a molecule to be optically active it must be chiral but here molecule is achiral in nature because same carbon is attached with same CH2 CH2 OH group in two side W will have C10 H18 O4 we carefully analyze molecule have sim this molecular formula and we give evolvescence on treatment with aqueous sodium bicarbonate 
again it is the test of COOH group and this molecule have COOH group so answer will be A, C and D here B is incorrect because they are given that molecule is optically active but here these two parts are same so molecule will be optically inactive in each year. last question which of the following statement or statements about N, O, P, Q with respect to M is or are correct these are the four structures to solve these structures solve this type of question first you have to convert these molecule into fissure form when molecules are written in sawhorse form or neurons form first you have to convert into fissure forms these are the fissure representation of m n o p and q first have rs configuration second have rr configuration third have rs configuration again p have sr and q have rr configuration on the basis of configuration as all have same ipac name so they are the configurational enantiomers diastereomers or identical on the basis of configuration we can find that m and n are the diastereomers and non mirror image m and o are identical as it had seen iupac name as well as configuration m and p are the enantiomers as they are mirror image and m and q are the diastereomers and not the identical well these are the questions there are nearly one one eight elements present in periodic tables but out of these only carbon forms around 90 percent of organic compounds while remaining one one seven elements only form 10 percent of the remaining compound the number of these organic compounds are billions and trillions therefore by first observation it looks very very difficult for anyone to learn this organic chemistry but in contrast to this if we carefully analyze the organic compounds and its reaction we will find it is very very easy and conceptual to memorize without any difficulty as it is conceptual subject so some concept must be there around which this subject revolves if we have a good command over it we can play a good match with organic chemistry and win it by solving all questions correctly to be a winning captain of the match we must have a good practice of the basics my website devoted to organic chemistry whose aim is to make organic chemistry simple conceptual and commandable so that you can enjoy it with confidence without any fear where you can get topic wise complete or notes videos to make organic chemistry simple thanks for watching this video